Alright. Go ahead and get started. When we last left off, I figured out some places to get some souls, and then I probably discovered an area I somehow never came across before in the very first uh, section that you go through up to Phalanx. So now, I'm uh, just trying to gather some souls. I have a decent amount of items, and in fact, I used it to upgrade a scimitar that I found. And I'm thinking of just rolling with this as a weapon from now on. I always need that moment where I remember what the controls are. And I'm actually tempted to just keep exploring this area. So, hold on, what are my stats? I think my ultimate goal is to get my strength up to 16. I see there were some drop frames earlier. Hopefully that does not persist. Any... tools that I've got just lying around. Actually, a, a few, yes. Have to hold on to the rest of those. I'm keeping a close watch on your belongings. You know, rest assured. My rainy day fund. Hey, Shadowmancer. Wait, do I have any already in there? The demon's souls are in there. I am not taking those. You have a heart of gold. One unknown hero's. And now I don't feel as bad about using this. This is not going to be enough to get me to a point where I can upgrade my stats again, but it should get me pretty close. I think I'm in the 1500 1600 range. Never mind. <laughs> that is higher than I remember it being. I think we do Bulletarian Palace maybe once or twice. I could get up to that point. Uh, a few more drop frames. Internet, please. No, this isn't my usual streaming time, but please. Uh, part of the reason I'm a little later today, oops. Got the microphone a little out of position. A little later today because uh, I was just around town hanging out with my girlfriend. We also wound up going to a uh, car show that was happening in town. I'm actually not much of a car person, but I'm trying to learn. I do like how quick this scimitar is. And in terms of attack strike, it seems rather comparable. Should have just started at the point inside the building. What I usually did last time. Don't know why I didn't do it here. Uh, 
and I'll admit I was kind of engrossed in the World Cup earlier today, so there was also that. I'm kind of surprised it took that long for one of them to drop something. Unless I just wasn't paying attention. Oh, Hero, I wasn't talking about England, Sweden. I was talking about Croatia, Russia. Sorry about that, by the way. I'll admit, I'm, I have not been pulling for England at all in the World Cup, but now that they are where they are, I want them to get to the finals and lose. Just to see how their fans react. I'm not sure what the fixtures are for the semifinals, though. I don't know who they would lose to. was strange, but I'll take it. We weren't even rooting for Sweden? Damn. So were you pulling for anyone, or were you just watching out of curiosity? I'll admit, um, when U.S. was in World Cup qualifying, I had a feeling that uh, they were just going to completely crap the bed. But I was just watching to see how they were going to screw this up. Bleed on him somehow? Oh great, another Night Shield. Night Shield is way better than that shield he is jiggling in my general direction. Rooted since the 2000s, damn. Of course you'd have an item. I believe that the teams that are left... One Bones, Dark Souls with the Falcon. I believe this is the Scimitar, unless those are just two terms for the same kind of sword. Yeah, I've got Scimitar plus two right now. I was using the Battle Axe all the way up until this point. And I just found this and decided to roll with it because it's a little faster.
I should be using the Crescent Moon Grass. I realized I was using Half Moon Grass instead. Turn the tides. The looking same moves at okay, so it is something different. I just like weapons that are a little on the faster side. Might as well start heading back. I have more than enough souls for what I'm trying to do. And I still have that room of slimes to clear out. And Shield Boy is not down there anymore. Makes sense. Anything from Dark Souls? Uh, well, I don't know anything about Dark Souls, so I can't help you on that one. Hell, I barely know anything about demon souls. And yet, here I am. Coffee would know? Yeah, he would definitely know. I have an idle moment, I'm probably gonna go into a search engine and type Scimitar, Falcon, is there a difference? Also, how do you pronounce Falcon? Because <laughs> I'm probably doing it wrong. Take any chances. Right, hard stone. You never have too much of that. And another. You're unusually generous today, Demon Souls. Falkion. I swear I will know this by at least the next stream. <laughs> Okay, that should be plenty. As I go back to the Nexus, Scimitar, 
Falcon, are they different? Falcon is somewhat curved broadsword of European origin with cutting edge on its convex side. Scimitar is virgin origin, curved blade. Well, okay, how is that different other than the origin? You got me stuck on this now. I've got to find out what the difference is. Looks like the scimitar has much more of a curve to it, while the falchion is straighter. But at the end, it sort of like curves up into a tip. And now that I look at it, this sword does not look like the scimitars I'm seeing when I search for scimitar. Now I'm just even more confused. Thou see then touch soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Okay. You realize I'm getting diminishing returns on it. But if I get my strength up a couple more points, I can use some much better equipment than what I have now. I'm just gonna try and grind that out. Hello again. I'm Start from the correct arch stone and everything. Okay, I, I am seeing. Wait, no. That's just a reproduction sword. Never mind. I was gonna say, I do see some scimitars that have a slightly less curved blade. There's some dude standing in his kitchen with a sword and. <laughs> Collectors, man. I'm taking away from the game. What am I doing? Go after these guys first because I tend to screw up against them more often. Actually, click too fast to see what I got. No, comrade, I don't usually stand in the kitchen with a sword. I stand in the living room with a sword. Sometimes the garage. Okay, I'm gonna play it safe. A certain state legalized swords? I believe that was Texas. 
I remember, I think, um, Angel Halo or Shadow Snake saying something about it in the chat. But guess what I'm saying is, next time I go to say in Japan, I can bring my sword. Well, I probably shouldn't admit that I have a sword, huh? It's a replica sword, it can't actually do anything. Yeah, of course it's Texas. Kitchens are the most optimal? For what, for speed running holding a sword? sound before. items here that I hadn't gotten in all the times I've gone through here before. Okay, that one's familiar. And he just jumped to the bottom. Not gonna bother. Oh, thanks for the souls. Watch yourself. Do not do the back step on a staircase with no rails. when they're so polite to aim for the shield first. Just about to turn around. The rate I'm collecting souls, I may actually be able to get the full strength upgrade I'm looking for in this stream. Hopefully. Because I'd like to move on to something else. But I really want that other equipment. Better souls players will probably be way ahead at this point by now. I 
saw for a moment he was going to throw the firebomb at point blank range. going to go all the way down. Most of the stuff that was down there was just the zombie grunts anyway, so they wouldn't give me a lot of souls. generous of you. Oh crap, what was loud? Did I hit the mic or something? I did, sorry. Hello again. I'm keeping a... Or was it when I rolled through the barrels? You have a... One more of these, and we'll have to do another point upgrade. Oh yeah, the big ass explosion with a dozen barrels or so. Oh no, you're fine. And my internet is lagging a bit. Okay. This is part of why I usually don't stream around this time, is sometimes the bitrate will just tank. Okay, good. Last couple of times he wasn't turned around, so pretty happy that he was this time. I've got to find a use for those large hardstone shards. I mean, I'm just guessing those are for when my weapon reaches a certain point, but... Not quite there yet.
Alright, I see the question. I'll just get to it when I'm not being attacked. Oh good, a shield I'm not going to use. Two of them, even better. It's way to farm pure blade stones. I didn't know there were pure blade stones in this game. I am still very new to Souls games. As in, this is the first Souls I've played, and I only started playing it about a month or two ago. Actually, wait, no. If I'm on part like seven or eight, there were a couple weeks I missed. I probably started this three months ago. Ah, you're fine. The learning experience for all of us. Except for the people who have nothing left to learn. I am going to have so m Oh, jeez. Sir, calm down. I'm just- I'm just gonna leave you to that. Good. Keep it up. Okay, the laws of physics do not apply. Beat it last week for the first time. Nice. Maybe I'll beat this game in, oh, two years. I'm going at quite the methodical pace with this so far. Still getting used to the world, the, the tendencies, the mechanics. Haven't even started on magic in this game yet. Alright, time for more loud noises. A firebomb to the face? I thought it would hurt more than that. Maybe it's just the explosion caused by the firebomb that makes me think of that. <laughs> Don't mind me. I know I'm not experiencing the online about this, but frankly, I wanted my first experience with Souls game to kind of be like this anyway. I didn't want the, uh, uh what was it, like the, um, the messages, 
potential co-op or player v player. I just wanted a straightforward single player experience. Now if I get to the other ones, I'll get a taste of that. Let's see if I can afford another strength point. I'll admit, um, my perception of PvP is a little tainted, mainly because my first experience with it was from, uh, ever... Okay, I'm still a little short on that. Okay. I could probably just kill a few slimes and get that. So, um, EverQuest, uh, Player v. Player servers, uh, I went in once, got killed very quickly, and decided, uh, no, that's not for me. But there was also Player v. Player for, um, non-PVP servers, so you could just challenge people to duels and then fight each other that way. And the thing is, there, <laughs> the server I was on, I don't know what it was about this server, but uh, they had these high-level people who would just run around and challenge new players, or obviously new characters, to duels. I don't know how to watch both of those. I'll take it. Got a corpse. I've discovered a little quickly that these things are a decent source for. Yep, there they are. Shard of Sharpstone. Yeah, the affinity system. No idea how that works. Uh, hopefully we'll get to it in some other places if they have it. Part of it was tempted to just start with the later games and then go backward. But I figured I might as well see how the series has evolved since the first one. Now I say that having played only the latest Monster Hunter games and not many of the earlier ones, particularly not Monster Hunter on the PS2, the first one, which was... God, just... Looking back on that now, it's amazing how the series has grown in popularity and stayed alive at all with that being the first entry. At least from the uh, perspective of a Western audience. Should have plenty now for at least the one point. New Behemoth to, Mo to Monster Hunter World next week? Oh, uh, yeah. Still gotta finish doing Lunastra stuff as it is. I know one friend who just Thou will not fight Lunastra. Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Soul of the lost, withdrawn from its vessel. One point to go Let on that. Strength be granted, so art thou done? Main thy. Target number is 2353. Let's do this. I've actually been neglecting my main character in world. 
So I gotta buckle down on that and make sure I'm caught up. And actually, I started going back to uh, Generations and 4 Ultimate. For Ultimate, I developed this tendency where I decided I was going to get every single longsword in the game. And I was actually cleaning out uh, my office, and I found an old checklist I'd printed off of all the swords uh, in Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. And it had marked off which ones I had, which ones I was specifically looking for ingredients for. Nice, Hearthstone. Oh, uh, Burr is not my main. Burr is the one that I play Mondays on streams. My main is a character named Buff Chick. Because in Monster Hunter I have this thing where every character I make, I name them after what I had for dinner. And in Buff Chick's case, I had a buffalo chicken sandwich. Previous characters include Rickon, named after a rigatoni chicken dinner I had. Uh, Tospa, because I had Zupa Toscana. It's an odd convention, but it works. I didn't have fried chicken, or my character would be named Frickin'. Calico names, I'll pretty much just do whatever. Actually, uh, I think it, it was in Generations. I just started naming Palicos after excuses not to go out with friends. I had characters who were names like, uh, maybe later, uh, kidnapped by aliens, I'm sick, called into work. I can't remember what my Palico names were for other games, but. That was what I used for one in particular. Yeah. Sounding like a lineup for a Whose Lines It Anyway skit? Yeah, kind of. they're dropping crescent moon grass. So just get back most of my lost health. Your games had 100 plus monsters. Well, Generations Ultimate. I'm really glad that's coming out because it's got close to 100 monsters in it. Including some that I don't know if we've actually seen them in the West yet.
I think the thing I was more disappointed with in 4 is you basically have one monster you can fight if you want anything for the ice element. Like, the element distribution in world is not good. Use your fists or any blunt weapon. Uh, I'll consider that. But for now, I'd rather play it safe because I'm extremely familiar with these enemies and their tendencies. Also, I don't know what World 4 is in the context of Demon Souls. Monsters are too fast for most weapon types. Uh, that's kind of the thing about Monster Hunter. When you start really getting into it, is no monster is really too fast for you because um, the thing about monsters in Monster Hunter is while their attacks may be random, there's usually very particular tell of what attack they'll do, and they will always do that attack the same way. So like, uh, this is just an example, but when I was playing Try, uh, I hit a brick wall when I got to Bury Off, because it's really fast. But the more I observed at attacks, the more I realized, here is where you can stand to be perfectly safe from that attack. And I was a greatsword user at the time, so I could just charge up in that place when I saw a certain attack was coming, and still be able to land big hits on it. So generous today. All right. They're weak to blunt, so they're easy to kill at farm. So, kind of like skeletons in D and D or Pathfinder. Piercing weapons don't do anything. Slicing weapons don't really do anything. Blunt, absolutely the way to go. Probably not going to be able to get that last strength point in just one more trip. I'm loath to go over there because every time I do, I always seem to fall in that pit somehow. Yeah, sorry, I forgot that the giant explosion just blasts through the speakers on this. Thou then touch. My TV volume's really low because I'm trying to make sure it doesn't echo through the mic. Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Soul of the lost, withdrawn from its vessel. I shall await, I am here. I think if I can get to the point where I'm able to wield 
um, that club two-handed. Not the small club, the big-ass club two-handed. Then I'll start going after things like skeletons. Sure. Well, <laughs> all right. Uh, thanks for dropping in, hero. Hope you get some rest. I don't think of monsters in world in particular that you would struggle with or weapons on. I'm just so used to it that I don't even think about it anymore. And of course, I have a monster hunter stream. <laughs> I'm not talking about this there. I'm talking about it on the freaking Demon Souls stream. attack looks cool with a flourish, but it's not exactly something I'd envision when I think running attack with a scimitar. It just seems more like something you would do in the middle of just standing still and slashing at someone. Clusterfuck, though. Gonna take any chances. Just milling around behind their partner's dead body. No, they're trying to get back, and their buddy's corpse is in the way. They were perfectly in sync on that. I'm 
gonna go up, kill the main guy, and then head back down. I say main guy because I do not know what that enemy's name is. Little bit of a helicopter by the dead body. I should also probably make sure my durability isn't going just to complete crap on my weapons and armor after this. Late Moongrass? I don't know if I've seen that yet. that I should be able to get the strength point and uh, make sure at least some of my weapons and armor are still at, at decent durability. Let's go home. I wish I was in the, uh, was it the Burrow King level where you had the elevator that could just go down almost right back to where the start is? I should read up more about the lore behind some of these games because it seems pretty interesting, but I'm only gleaning little bits of it while I'm trying to focus predominantly on the gameplay so I don't die as much. as I punt corpses out of the way. Thou oh, good, you're right here. Soul power, dost thou not? Then touch the deep. Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Soul of the lost, withdrawn from its vessel. Art thou done? Me okay. It's intrigued with you. Probably pretty busted up, so I don't know if I'll be able to fix everything. I fixed most of it. Duke. Do I have another shield on me? No, I don't.
Here, have a. Hello, I'm keep. Let's give this a shot. Ouch, that is a lot of sh uh, slave shields. theory I should be able to wield the night shield now. I mean, it weighs more, but that's significantly higher for physical attack, for guard break reduction. stat penalties or effectiveness penalties however it phrases it I forget well, I should figure out great club requires oh that requires strength of 20 Jesus Requires 18. Yeah, I've still got a ways to go on that. In trick with yours. Oh, what I need for that. Well, actually, I have plenty of sharp zones to be able to do that. save up for that attack boost? Part of me says yes. I hope the later Souls games go away from the uh, weird iconography for all the different stats and effects and stuff. Because I cannot remember what most of these mean. I know what the strength no, one is, just because I've had to keep looking it up so much. I think what I'll do is I'll do one more round of this, and then I'll fix all my equipment up, get that upgrade for the scimitar, and then start exploring a little more in the deeper sections of this stage. And hopefully not get burned alive. Feel stupid. You are generous with the sharp stones right now.
Hey, that's halfway toward that upgrade. I'm so glad to not be carrying that leather shield anymore. gets a little wonky when I that section. Are you dead? Yes. Okay. there. All the good news out of this is by the time I'm through, I will actually be somewhat prepared for the next stage. Stage area, however, it makes distinctions in this game. That should be plenty. Try not to overdo it on souls too much, because... As I've come to realize in this game, the more you have, it just means that's how many, how many uh, souls you can stand to lose. If I come upon a large amount of souls, I'm probably going to find an excuse to spend them. Get that upgrade. Man. In stream for approaching an hour and a half, it does not it's feel like that.
Okay, now I know what the large sharpstone shards are for. Hmm. Doing the quality scimitar has better overall stats in the long run, but do I don't really want to take that damage output drop. Do. Hello, I'm keeping. Well, I can safely put away the bastards. Battle axe just a ace. You have a it's in with your think sure. do come I ran out of arrows last time I went through a new area. So, trying to prevent that from happening again. Let's explore a little further down here. Hardstone, hardstone, large stone shard. Oh. Well, two out of three ain't bad. And there's the hardstone. Noticing slightly higher damage output. happens here, which is precisely why I'm a little nervous just running out onto the bridge. Holy shit, I'm still alive. <sighs> oh god, that was close. Yeah, full health. Definitely want full health now.
It's just a random bone on the ground? Why is it floating? Thank you. That makes twice. Thanks to you, I can now forge ahead. This is a token of my gratitude. Please accept it. Oh, that was just in the other room. Wait, there's no switch or anything? Didn't see one on the other side. I want to see where this guy goes. Just to see what he does when he encounters any enemies ahead or walks out on Dragon Bridge. Oh, he's going up. This is bad. Not a single person left. Why on earth? How did all of this happen? Father! <laughs> I don't know what emotion that was supposed to be when he said father. Good thing I didn't go up there. Fire does stop there. struggling against these archers. Of 
Run up and hit him with your sword. The armor vastly outclasses theirs. I almost said the flower reaches the top of the tire. That is an entirely different game. So it just kind of circles a little bit if I'm here. Then if I move a little further out, it will just nuke the bridge. If I understand this correctly. I'm actually kind of running low on time for the stream. Do I do I try to go back? This could end poorly. Doesn't seem like there's much of a difference between the, the pause between when he nukes the one and then switches back, as opposed to when he just keeps blasting the same one over and over. So 
actually have to explore the basement area, so I will go down and check that real quick. I do not trust that one bit. Okay. One more. Come on. Come on. Two more. Nice. Three more. Any of you things are there. Actually, stretch all the way to the opposite side. Ah, we meet again. Fancy that. Hope you find something that suits you. All that leads to an item shop. Oh. Hmm. That is actually kind of tempting. Oh, and he sells plate armor. Okay, remember this for later. Remember this for later. I have a new goal. That is, get some souls worked up and go to this guy. But, for now... I'm going to get the club, so Thanks that I have a one-handed blunt weapon.
they saw me? Pick us off. Going up top after I saw what the other guy had to fight on the way there. That is a long way down. Definitely not. At least I know where the fog leading to the next area is. Here, just most of the way here. <laughs> just enough time. Holy shit. to try and go out for that. Well, it's good to know that getting bumped by the dragon doesn't do nearly as much damage as getting roasted by the dragon. Okay, well, I'm going to back out to the Nexus, and my goal for the next stream is going to be to reach that, well, get some more souls, get some better armor, because now that I know where I can get plate armor, I want that. I really want that. It's going to cost thousands of souls, but I want it. Actually, there is Let's one other thing I want to check. Can I just upgrade that little club that I found? Well, bought. No interest, eh?
doesn't look like something you can forge, but still. At least I can equip that without lowering my uh, effectiveness with it. So, that is going to do it for me today. Uh, I'm going to try and be around tomorrow to stream something. Whether it's more Shaq Fu speed running or uh, continuing Resident Evil 7. Or possibly playing some things that I got from the Steam sale. That's still up in the air right now, but thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.